Howdy, this is Kyle, and you're tuned back into The Current. Today, we've got a little something different. It's something you can probably all relate to. You plan to go to Bass Pro Shops or even your local Walmart, and suddenly you find yourself in the fishing aisle. And even though you said when you were there, or on your way there, that you weren't going to buy any fishing stuff, boy... Were you wrong? Uh, that just happened to me this past weekend. I went to a fishing expo where I said, you know what, I'm just gonna go there to learn and talk to people and have a little fun. Boy was I wrong. Man, I came back with bags of stuff. I know every one of y'all can relate to situations like this. And what we're gonna do today See what I really needed so badly that I told myself when I left the house that I didn't need. Let's get it done. We're gonna unbox a couple of these bags or just go through some of the bags and see what I got. Um, I'd love for you guys to chime in and let me know if you've used any of these baits. Most of the stuff that I got is actually um, things that I've never used before. So I give myself a little bit of uh, slack i'll cut myself a little slack because it's new baits uh, and i'm not just stocking up on stuff i know works so let's let's take a look through it behind door number one is a paper bag uh, and in this paper bag we've got a bunch of used baits uh, there was a guy a, a crankbait dude and and i'll preface back this was at the richmond fishing expo in virginia that sold some old school, well, just used baits essentially at a great price. So I picked up some rattle traps. This is a, it's probably a quarter ounce or three eighths ounce uh, Bill Lewis rattle trap. Uh, I got three total. They were two bucks each. I can't complain. I love fishing a rattle trap. This is a, a clear, you got the, uh, some kind of dying shad looking deal. Uh, this one says it's actually a floater, which I have no idea how that works. Didn't read that part. Um, and this one says super soft. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. Those were each two bucks. And then a double knocker, the old shad color. And that was two bucks as well. And then an old school, this is probably a medium diver, but an old school bandit. This one's gonna be great in the spring. Uh, and even throughout the, the winter for sure, but love a good medium diving crank in the, in the spring, especially in that like crawl color. So that's behind bag number one. Bag number two, we got Dance's Sporting Goods. They got me they got me really good. Those guys had really awesome selection. They were doing first up. First up, they had the uh, the new Crush City stuff. Buy three bags, get one free. So I picked up first off the Clean Up Craw three and a half inch. This is in the Bama Bug color. Then I picked up the Bronco Bug in the four inch. Uh, that's in Green Pumpkin. I grabbed the Freeloader four and a quarter inch. And that one's in Green Shad. It looks a lot like a, a Spunk Shad or Spark Shad. Um, and then finally, I was looking for a new bait to throw on the A-Rig and I, I grabbed the Mayor. Um, so these are three inch uh, shad color. I like the way these look. See how they go. One of those bags was free. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? I grabbed a new uh, Hog Farmer A rig setup. Uh, this is the Tactical Bass and Mini Flex rig, the four blade. Uh, so it's got four blades and three swivels so I can run well, four blades and 
yeah, three swivels. So I can run three jigs or three hooks. Uh, I grabbed some of the A-Rig jig heads, the eighth ounce. Um, I've got two A-Rigs. I'm not super loaded up on A-Rigs, but I've been fishing them quite a bit. So I wanted to try out one of these. Of course, Matt talks about anything on tactical bass and makes you want to buy it. And then finally, Dance's Sporting Goods has a great selection of JDM stuff, specifically Mega Bass. I really liked this color in the uh, Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus One Junior. It is called, let's see if it says on there. I'm not super well versed in the Mega Bass stuff. I've got a couple of these 110s. Oh, this is the GLX Northern Secret. I like that purple. Um, I've had good luck on purple and the local lakes that I fish, especially in the winter. So that's where Dance's Sporting Goods put me, behind bag number two. All right, we've got bag number three. There's no logo on here, but it's a blue bag. And it's from Biz Bates. Biz Bates is a local company out of North Carolina. They hand pour, or at least pour, and build their stuff there. Um, all the baits look pretty cool. Um, the guys were pretty nice guys. Seemed like they were pretty knowledgeable and the baits looked really nice. Um, so I grabbed a couple of things. They had five bags get one free, I want to say, or five items get one free. So I grabbed the Baby Biz Bug in Magic Craw. That's three and a quarter inch. Good looking bait. Um, I was looking for something with flappers that uh, were pretty stiff and these when they showed me in the tank we're pretty stiff, so fishing in the winter, I like to have that trailer that doesn't move a ton. Um, let's see. I grabbed a half ounce uh, Colorado with an orange uh, blade on it. I really like to have that uh, one blade offset sometimes. You know, that's sometimes the difference between a fish and not a fish for me. Um, and I'm fishing that half ounce in the winter. I grabbed their straight up shaky heads. It looked pretty nice. Nice little design on them. Um, I usually use the Gamakatsu uh, setup, but I'll give these a shot. It's an eighth ounce four rot hook. Um, see how they work. I also grabbed three sixteenths ounce of the same thing uh, with the four rot hook. And let's see, two others. I grabbed, I really like the way that their jigs looked and I wanted to try them out. So I grabbed this skip and flip jig. That's a half ounce. And then this heavy finesse jig, also in a half ounce. Um, this, uh, the finesse jig has got a three aught hook on it. This color is called the bread and butter. And then the skip and flip is in the Carolina Craw and that's got a five aught hook on it. And they've got some pretty substantial looking, uh, weed guards on them and these jigs look pretty legit they've got a nice little uh, unique head on them they've got little ribs in the in the head I don't know if you can see that necessarily but it seemed like a cool design um, I'm usually fishing Beast Coast jigs um, I really like their stuff but figure I'd give these a shot it looked good and that's bag number three and behind bag number four it's a clear beautiful bag. I don't remember what this company was called that was selling these, but when I lived in California, um, I fished the Optimum swim baits uh, quite a bit, and I really liked the way these things swim. Um, I don't think I was using this specific one, but this is the Boom Boom, the line through uh, with the panicked action, and it's supposed to be rigged with a, um, with a treble, but you can also rig it with a single hook. Um, this one's like I mentioned, six ounce or six inches, and a uh, ounce and three quarters. Uh, and this is in the five nine five money color. It's got like a little pearl to it, and it's kind of it's kind of translucent. Um, I'll be throwing this in some clearer water, probably Smith Mountain Lake, Lake Anna, places like that where you can bust some big fish on uh, swim baits, on cover, on docks, so on. Um, and then I also grabbed the Baby Boom Weedless Swim Baits. Uh, this is also the Panicked Action. 
it's got that same uh, tail on it, that uh, that square tail on the back. Um, and these are, I want to say this is like a half an ounce, um, and they're four and a half inch. And this is the ghost minnow color. That comes in a, a three pack, um, and you can rig these however you want. Um, I usually do uh, a wide gap, uh, you know, one of the wide gap. Uh, screw locks with the uh, weight in the middle so I'll, I'll probably throw it uh, with something like that um, we'll see these are these are smaller versions than I've ever thrown but they they look really good so that's bag number four swim baits last but not least it didn't come with a bag but shout out to my man Mark uh, from the Carolina Anglers team trail uh, Mark's the director over there at the James River Division, uh, and he put me on to some baits that look pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna give them a shot. This kind of stickworm deal. This is a uh, blood red, or a, what do they call this, bloodline. It's got like a, some kind of like, uh, I don't know, a bloodline in the middle essentially. It looks very realistic from a worm perspective. So I'm gonna, certainly be giving these a shot uh, I love throwing love throwing a good uh, wacky rig stick worm up on docks you know just about anywhere really and these this is the mad dog so another beaver well these aren't even a beaver style bait these are a funny looking bait I'll actually take these ones out and they boy they garlic cinnamon they stank they really smell bad this thing's got quad arms on it and a real big tail on it I mean that's that thing's got some serious action so I'll be fishing that for sure um, come come spring and summertime when I need uh, I'll probably be throwing that thing on like a Carolina rig just dragging it or putting it on some kind of maybe a wobble head or something like that the kid that that was working the booth said he's throwing it on a uh, on a shaky head which I was taken aback I couldn't see these things on a shaky head but might have to give it a try so that about wraps it up uh, I know that probably every one of y'all that are watching this have been in this situation you go into a store you expect that you're not gonna spend anything whether it's Bass Pro to get just some random item or Walmart to go shopping you know for non fishing stuff you say uh, I'm not gonna go get fishing stuff. I don't need anything. Same thing happened to me. I went to the Richmond Fishing Expo. Said, you know, I, boats full of shit. Boats full of stuff. I really don't need anything. <laughs> Boy, was I kidding myself. Uh, if you haven't already, I'd love to hear this, one of the stories that you've had uh, where you didn't walk out scot free, just like what just happened to me. Um, and if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot more great content coming this year, and I'm excited to share it with you. See ya!